Welcome. Well, in the past couple of hours, a court in Wisconsin has announced that a 17-year-old has been arrested and charged with first-degree homicide over a shooting in Kenosha on Tuesday night. The court said the teenager was arrested in the neighboring state of Illinois and went on to say he has been charged now with first-degree intentional homicide in Kenosha. Now, Kenosha officials have been giving a news conference in the last hour. Here's the mayor of the city. There are a lot of very good people in this community, and what is happening to them is wrong. People have differences of opinion. We have different concepts of how things should be done. Those are all fine, but violence in the community is not acceptable. Violence to property, violence to people, absolutely unacceptable. And it is up to us to make sure that that does not continue. That's the mayor speaking. The Kenosha County Sheriff has brought the curfew forward an hour and justified the use of tear gas on protesters. It was something we had to do. We had to disperse the crowd and get them moving out. The longer we let them go, the longer we let them uh, build, the uh, more dangerous the situation became. Tonight we're changing the curfew to 7 o'clock. We will uh, gladly support all the peaceful protests that are really throughout Kenosha County um, up until 7 o'clock. And after that, we asked everybody to go home. Well, Aline McBull takes us through what happened in Kenosha on Tuesday night. And just to note, some viewers may find it distressing. Tensions on the streets here have increased dramatically. At times, it's barely believable that these are scenes playing out in a small city in America's Midwest. And there's a new dimension to the chaos. As well as the confrontation between protesters and security forces, the fireworks and the tear gas, there are now armed civilians saying they're protecting property from getting damaged. Mobile phone footage appears to catch the moment one man with a rifle Shot him, man. fires on protesters. He laid him out, he died. It later zooms in on someone lying motionless on the ground as others run to help. Another distressing video appears to show a similar incident close to a petrol station. Again, a protester is gunned down. What appears to be an armed man is later seen walking with his hands up towards police. It's been confirmed that two people were killed and a third seen here was injured by gunshots. Well, part of the footage you saw there was filmed by a video journalist, Brendan Gutenschweger. I've been talking to him about what led up to that incident. At a certain point in the night, about an hour after the uh, most recent major police dispersal with like large rounds of tear gas fired, they, there was some kind of altercation, confrontation. We could hear yelling about block away and shots rang out. And so I had been you know, out there to film things and cover what's going on. So I started going towards where we had heard the gunshots for, uh, from and Upon arrival, saw a man lying on the ground there. There was blood splattered. I couldn't really tell what his condition was. He was surrounded by a lot of different people, a couple of them wearing um, medic vests or like uh, red tape with a plus sign. And then this man with a rifle leaves this crowd and starts running away as people are calling after him, saying, get him, get him. He just shot someone. And so that's about where I had started recording at that point. And I sort of followed behind him as he was running away from this crowd of people. A few of them were chasing after him. At a certain point, he falls in the middle of the road. And as a couple individuals close in on him, he turns around and shoots at them. So he, so those shots ring out. He shoots a couple individuals in the middle of the street and they're weren't very many people gathered at that point uh, to the point where the line of police, assuming they were paying attention, and I would imagine they were with shots ringing out, would have had a clear line of sight of this happening uh, because they were parked about a block up the road in the Bearcats and the uh, police cruisers. They, and so this man gets up and with the rifle still slung around his chest is walking towards the police. 
and he does say something briefly to them. I couldn't make it out. I could um, like just vaguely hear that something was being said. Police didn't appear to be really engaging with that conversation at a certain point, though, because he was right next to those police cars and uh, Bearcats. They did yell at him to get away from the vehicle, step back, step back. And so he just kept walking. That was just stunning to me that he had just fired off these shots, walked up to the police, tried talking with them. They basically just didn't want him too close to the vehicles. They weren't letting anybody close to the vehicles. Most people that walked up that close would get either tear gassed or um, pepper balls or something shot at them. For, for whatever reason, they didn't with him, and they just basically let him walk right on past. That's the video journalist Brendan Gutenschwager speaking to me just a few minutes ago. And uh, just in the last hour or so, we've learned that uh, police arrested a 17-year-old uh, in the neighboring state of Illinois after those events. Now, Donald Trump has been tweeting. He says, today I will be sending federal law enforcement and the National Guard to Kenosha, Wisconsin, to restore law and order. We will not stand for looting, arson, violence and lawlessness on American streets. My team just got off the phone with the governor who agreed to accept federal assistance. Portland should do the same. Now, the unrest, you'll remember, began after Jacob Blake, who was shot several times by police on Sunday as he opened the door of his car while his young children sat inside. His lawyers say at least one of the bullets went through his spinal cord and he'll need a miracle to walk again. In a news conference, Blake's family called for an end to the violent protests. They shot my son seven times, seven times, like he didn't matter. But my son matters. He's a human being, and he matters. Do Jacob justice on this level and examine your hearts. Mm. Mm. Yes. We need healing. Mm. 